Uh, Shalom Yisraya Re'ach Dawit. This is Yam Hashulishi, the Shabbat preparation of the eve of Shabbat. And I'm on my way to the jail. I got a tremendous workout for you today. Uh, and it's going to be a tremendous blessing for you, all over 56, and you young men as well. It will help you as well. Come on, won't we? All right. Got my bag here, some things here. I'll show you some things that'll help you in your process. Greenhouse looking excellent. Look at that, looking beautiful. The tomatoes and everything growing. Everything is excellent. All right, this gym time. Let's roll. All right. Beautiful day here in Jefferson, South Carolina. It's probably around 68 right now, 65, 60. Nice. I've been out early this morning up. I was lazy this morning. I did not get up until 6 a.m. And so I did some cardiovascular, I had a chance to do some nice cardiovascular, which I try to do that every morning. And then my friend, one of the Ach Yosef and I, uh, I handle nearly 1,600 pounds of concrete, putting in posts in the ground, because we need to fence about 15 acres of property for the animals, so that there will be plenty of food for them to eat during the summer months. From what I'm gathering uh, by the Almanach and some of the other long range weather reports, it looks as though we're gonna have somewhat of a drought. And so we're trying to make preparation for that. So I have been laboring all morning, just finish up around noon. It's one had me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on some wheat bread that the Achot prepared for the Ach. And so I'm gonna head to the gym, all right? And get me a nice workout before Shabbat uh, Eve dinner, and I prepare for Shemach Yisraya on tonight. The animals are doing well, you see? So come on, let's head to the gym. I got one for you today, all right? It's going to, it's going to bless you much. It's gonna help you develop strength, and you can't develop strength until you die. So uh, I want to be one, even in my 60s, doing what I am doing. I may not handle the type weight, that I handle now, but I want to be able to continue this process throughout life. We're here at the gym, all right? The Shua gym. Come on in the house. All right. The gym here. All right, it's nice and cool in here. All right, the weather, the temperature, 60 degrees, now that's excellent weather for a nice workout. What I'm going to do, I like to open the door here, get a little sunshine in so I can see out. I have not warmed up or anything. I'm gonna do a nice workout and, uh, and go from there, okay? Let me get my gloves. Get my gloves. It's nice to have gloves for the purpose of gripping, keep me some nice gloves. And then I'll get my belt. And I want to show you some things that will help your, your upper body, give, make, make you strong on that region. Your upper body, your back, assist your shoulders. Listen, I want to show you something. These, you, you don't need any kind of drugs. I always take this, this is vitamin, this is ultra B12, but I take this, and as far as protein, I use the green protein, you see that, it's green. It has all the amino acids and everything in it, this is much better than that way that you purchase out of GNC and places like this, but this is what I use, raw protein, all green protein. I take the ultra, B12 because it gives me energy when I'm working out and you're lifting somewhat heavy, your body began to dissipate its energy. So you need, this is wonderful. And if you're not a consumer of large quantities of meat, then this will help you much. So B12, protein before you work out and after. You need protein 
in order to build any kind of muscular frame, all right? These two here. I'll put this here for now. And I'm going to get busy. All right, here we go. Yisrael, my friends and my enemies. Uh, how are you doing today? All right. The preacher behind is ready to roll. Believe me, I will come out of the sweat in a moment, okay? What I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to do a little benching. And I want to show you something on the bench. I'm going to do some benching, but this, I'd like to do uh, multiples or different disciplines, two disciplines at a time. Uh, the reason I do that is uh, because in the bench it takes the group of muscles to help you to get a strong bench. It takes tricep, biceps, oh, you've got to have all that to get a nice bench, I'm telling you. Now, it's not going to come by hoping you can bench. You've got to do it. So what I'm going to do here, just get a quick warm up, all right? Uh, I haven't bench in three months. The cycles that I bench, but for you, my friends, I'm going to do a little benching. Now. I'm going to do that. All right. Woo! This is a warm up here. It's 125 pounds. Mm. reps of that. And then I go immediately from 125, I go to 225 pounds, all right? Yeah. It is one program that will certainly help build your, your bench strength. It is called the Princeton, uh, Princeton, it's called the Princeton Workout. And you maintain a certain weight throughout the process until you cut 225, you can get 18, 20, 25 reps. You must understand, even in the NFL combine, they gauge the strength of the players on how many times they can bench 225. And so you get to 225, and you just keep there. Now, I like to do more than one discipline at a time, so I'm going to warm up there and then I'm going to warm up here as well on the triceps because the tries plays a tremendous part in benching. That's just a little too heavy for me. That's a hundred pounds but I'll take that on. So I work the triceps and I work between these two and I'm going to show you some different discipline. Things that will really build your chest, your arms and make you strong, all right? And that will be broadcasts whereby or programs where I will show you how to be your cast and all of that because no man likes to have the pencil legs. Even though the pencil, you, you can get definition to your cast. And I will show you exercises that it will not take long and you will be surprised what kind of definition that your cast will have, all right? Okay, a little try, okay? Notice that. See that? Keeping your arm, this is somewhat heavy. See where my arms are? By my waist? Look at that. You're simply using the back of your arms. All right, woo! I can feel that. My, takes it out of me. Mm. What I tend to do here, what I mention, I tend to do biceps. I usually have, I usually, these two disciplines because the biceps and the triceps play a tremendous uh, part in your ability to bench. And we as Yisraya, we must have some physical strength, you know. There are those that uh, will ridicule me because I put a video like this up, but listen, the Torah commands us that physical exercise profit little, but Torah garden is of great gain. So the little that physical exercise profit 
Undoubtedly, it has to be of gain, because you all would have not made mention of that. So I think it's beneficial to all of us as Yisra got to exercise, especially we as men, that you don't have these big, huge guts. You have no ability to endure. Exercise, man. Exercise. I believe every man should be able to stand with his legs straight and touch the ground with his fingertips and with his hand balled up as well with his fist. So can touch the ground. Bold statement, isn't it? All right, this is for all of my ach, 55 and over you young men, you can benefit from this as well. And even you that are younger than 55, I'm not trying to put you on a program that's gonna hurt you, but this is what you can do the things that I'm doing. There's nothing special about me that shows you I can do this. It's just simply doing it. All right, here we go. I haven't done this in a while. So if the video stops, you'll know why. Because I cannot do it. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I have a bitch in a long time. Don't try benching by yourself, because if you're not a strong bencher, then this bar can easily fall and crush your esophagus and kill you. So it's best to have someone to spot behind you. I've done this for many, many years. So I kind of, nearly 35 years, so I have an idea at a strength whereby I know what to do in case I don't have the ability to, to uh, get this off me, all right? I know what to do. All right, here we go. You notice my body and my shoulders are flat on the bench. You notice that how my feet are spread out, basically shoulder width. I press my shoulders down, and it's all right to put a little arch in your back, all right? And then I take this up. <laughs> See that? All right. The pension is vital. It's vital to a man's masculinity, his chest, his arms, especially his waistline. You got these big guts. Something is not right. You need to get rid of that. And you're not going to have any type of muscular definition unless you do cardiovascular. You got the run, you got the jog, you got the walk. And I'm not talking about strolling. You must get your miles up to at least, get where you can walk and say five miles in about 50 minutes. 50 minutes, 50 plus minutes. You want to get into that. Now that's, that's better than most folks can jog, you understand? So you want to do that. All right, one more set of the tries. I'm going to do two sets of this. Two of this, and what I'm gonna do, everything today is gonna to be for strictly the chest, all right? The chest. And then when you're working out, you wanna do things that benefit the chest, but I'm doing things in the discipline of the muscle groups that assist in one having a bench press or a strong uh, ability to lift heavy weight, all right? The triceps are important. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna do between 10, 12 reps. Usually, this I do 25. Usually on the bench, I do 15, 18, 20 reps. But I have a bench in a while, so it's kind of difficult. And I'm gonna show you other exercises that will work with that, all right? So let me do the tries. You notice my feet are apart, shoulder width. You notice that? You wanna keep them, you put a slight bend in your knees. And then you wanna pull this down. I'm using the V-bar today to your side. Look, <clears throat> see that?
one more bench. I'm just going to do two sets of each. And I want to make this video a little shorter than the last one. I want to try to do something each month. Then I will have some of the ak, uh, a couple of them to the young ak that live with, that live, uh, with me. And we will do some exercises together where you can learn from them as well. All right. One more bench. It's one thing about the bench. It's vital to one's overall strength. Uh, the bench, everyone gauges what you can do by your bench press. It should not be a competitive thing when you're lifting weights or trying to strengthen your biological physique. There's nothing wrong with that, Yisraya. You simply do not walk outside. I do not. And we don't do that here to show sure, naked shirts off. We don't do that. Not here. You understand? So we're not trying to compete against each other, see who's the most bronze, who has the most muscular definition. definition. We don't do that here. We cover ourselves, and that's the way it should be. All right, one more bench, and then I'm going to do some, 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 some flies or some dumb, dumbbell press and show you the uniqueness of that and how that will benefit more of your deltoid muscle, this muscle that runs across here. I'll show you some things, all right? One more bench, all right? And then one more try. So we're going to do different things today, okay? As my friend Zakim Benjamin was, uh, uh, was saying, here we go. All right. Here we go. Notice my stance. Notice my feet now. That's important. You don't want your feet to be like that. You don't want your feet to be like that. You want your feet spread. About shoulder width, or just a, a, a few few centimeters or inches uh, without the uh, outside the parameter of your shoulder. All right, you want to get that center dynamics. Make sure your shoulders are pressed into the bench, and so when you lift, it makes it much easier. If you're trying to twist and bend, you're going to hurt yourself. Do not try to lift anything that you're not capable of lifting. All right, here we go. The bench. Notice where the bench bar always have lines where you can place your finger. Whether you want to do a closer bench, it has lines so you have the same distance from one side of the bar to the other. So I will place my thumb on this marker here. I use the open grip, but you thought I began as best to use the closed grip. This is the close, this is the open grip, this is the close with your thumb wrapped around your index finger. The open grip is like this, where you support the weight on the heel of your hand. So I have lived like this all my life, so I prefer the open, unless I get truly heavy. And that's probably 400 pounds or better. And I don't do that now. Here we go, all right? Notice me now, arch my back just a tad, Lift it. Come on. reason these your shoulders and things like that is difficult to get them warm when it's cold and usually we keep the gym around 60 70 degrees in the winter time so you're coming in out of the winter cold 60 degree is difficult but I do all of the other things that support the muscles around my shoulder from my pectoria so when I bench it's not a difficult thing during the summer this here it's easy. Right now, it's difficult. All right. Let's do all the way back there. 
one more try, and I'm going to work two disciplines again, okay? I want to get this done today. Two disciplines. I want to do one more try, and then I will go to the dumbbells here, and then I will go to the pool. I'm going to set this up right now. Let me set this up. And I'll show you that this is a very powerful discipline here. This. Let me do the tries one last time. This is only the shoulder, okay? Triceps. Just give you 10 minutes, 12, okay? The tries. Vitally important. Tries and biceps. You can work them in the same day or different days. All right, triceps. <clears throat> dumbbell press. Individual arms has, have to, or well, the individual arm has to support the weight. And I like to do this on an incline or you can do it on a flat. I like the incline because it takes a little more, it's a little more difficult, all right? So let me get an incline on this bench. Just a little incline. That's enough. I've already warmed up and so what I will start here with, these are 80 pound dumbbells. Now you may think that that's easy. Well, my friend, I'll tell you what, you try hoisting these 80 pound dumbbells and you will see how difficult it is. I'm going to show you two different motions in this, okay? What, the one I'm going to do first is the hard one. Well, I'll do that one second. Because it, even though I've bench, it's going to be difficult on me beginning here because I usually begin with 55 pounds, 65, 75, 80. And then the 100 pound dumbbells are in my cart, what I use to jog around the community. All right? So I will start with the 80 pound dumbbells. All right? Let me show you this discipline. It's a beautiful discipline, it's beautiful for the chest muscles. It will help much, all right? Oh, we get here, all right? Ah, this is heavy. Mm, I think I have put myself in a fix today. All right. Can't go around the 80 pounds, okay. Hallelujah. So, this is an incline. So you got to get this up on your chest. That's the tough part. Watch me, watch, watch, watch my mechanics, okay? This is my mechanics where I, you don't exert much energy or put any pressure or, or any part of your body. One of the best you want to utilize this bicep bench. 
because you can work the bicep from so many angles. I'm gonna do two sets of these, then I'll move to another discipline, all right? The pec squeeze. And I work different aspects of that. Whew. Believe me, my friend, that is heavy for an old man like me. All right, I'm gonna do two different, different disciplines on this. Now this really works your tries. I we have about, what, 60 pounds on this. It sounds light, but it is the angle of this bar that it, it exacerbates your, 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 your biceps. Let me show you. I'm gonna do it like this, the close up, so you can work this bar many different ways, all right? Like this, for the tries, all right, for the biceps. I'm gonna do this, the close grip, the hammer grip, okay? And watch this. I get my, my armpit under the, uh, uh, on the top of the, on the top of the uh, support here. And then you pull that up, all right? Here we go.
I will get off work at 2.42 a.m., go home, greet my Isha, and I will go to the gym every day. And at my home, I had a workout area with weights, jumping rope, and everything. And that's from an eight-hour day job, kept my lawn beautiful, and all of that. So this is beautiful to have some kind of extracurricular in the afternoon. And then you have time for Torah. All right, last it. Turn the damn television off. How about that? Then you will have the big gut. All right, here we go. Mm. Now watch this. Now watch how I watch the motion. I will show you, okay? Let me do one the regular way I did last, and then I will do the other like I want you to understand. Here we go. All right, here we go, see? How did I like this the last time? Now you do them like this. See that? That's difficult. All right. From there, I'm going to do some tight squeeze. Here. This is a beautiful machine here to work the pectoral region. I'm going to start. I've warmed up 130 pounds. Well, that's easy. I'll tell you what, friend. Try 130 pounds and see if you can move it. So I'm going to work two disciplines here as well, as I do this. I'm going to work the pectoria, and then I'm going to work one set, I'll do one bicep, and then I'll do one tricep on this bench, all right? I try to work my pectoria, tries and bys, just region of my body at the same time, okay? We're going to do something for the stomach. I will show you exercises for the stomach and all of that, okay? But these are the things I want to show you today. Quick video. You have time to watch this. You watch it. You sit there and you watch it. You will benefit from this, my friend. Hallelujah. I don't see any man that the power of Yah's mighty Torah, that these beastly men, how that it shows a tremendous discipline. I don't even see how they have the stamina to to really to teach with a very powerful dynamic, you gotta have a physical strength. Let no one kid you. Let no one. Because the way you maintain this house is how you will maintain the, the bed of Yah. All right, peg squeeze, here we go. You notice how my arms are out on this peg bar? And you squeeze your pectorial, your pads. Here we go. that will help your chest region to make it strong, not for you to go outside without a shirt on, just to give you a strong a physical presence. And that's what we need, Israel. Not only 
do our words speak volume, but our presence speak at a at exceptional volume. When men see your presence, they see the aura and the power of your ruach. If you're fat and lazy and driftless, then your ruach is that way. You're talented, trying to downtrod those that are away. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm saying that we as a nation of Yisrael, we have allowed this wicked nation to make us act like pigs because we eat like pigs and we eat in the pig slop houses. All right. How about that? You don't eat at their restaurants. None of them. Don't do that, man. You that eat at restaurants, something is wrong with you. I could travel 5,000 miles and never eat at their restaurants. And I never will. And I don't eat there. All right? Well, preachers, that anything we can buy, I tell you what. The only thing you can buy at a restaurant, any restaurant, is that if they have baked potatoes, you tell them you don't want them to do anything you want. You don't want them to split it or anything. Buy a baked potato and eat that. All right? Eat that. But nothing that they cook and their grills or anything like that with the swine and everything. I don't care if they say they're kosher. All right, here we go. Now, this is not, it, you have the same motion, but this is strictly triceps. Notice how close I will have my hands. Now, I want you to notice that. Cameraman, let them see that. See? Here are the lines here. You see that, these lines here? I want to get my hands as close as I can there, okay? See how close I got that grip? Very close. Then I push it up. You want it close. Then you want to just look at my arm. about a tablespoon. I will put some of this under my tongue to give me a little energy, all right? Mmm. Mm. seconds because it helps for it to assimilate under the porous region of your tongue and it doesn't take long that you begin to feel this in your body all right b12 the ultra within five minutes you feel that it, it, it's effects all right one more okay one more peck squeeze and then one biceps and then I'm going to do some pulls. These pulls are, ah, uh, it takes something for these, all right. Hallelujah. All right, one more squeeze. Arms spread out, feet planted, and then squeeze. It's hard. Why am I doing I tend to have my music, I ask my, ach, should be on to. 
prepared me some music, but uh, no, he hasn't. Here we go. One of these, just one, all right. I love this here. If you want to build your biceps, you want to do these, or the straight bar, what I did on the last video. But this will refine them, and you'll enjoy this. I will say I'll be back, and this. I 
I'm not taking no shortcuts. Let me see 200 pounds, okay? Let me see what it feels like. Simply doing this to give you an idea of some of the things you can do straight. And I think the next one, I will do the back. Some exercises on that. The only reason I don't like this exercise, I need to get that on the floor. And I'm lazy. Alright. I do the old man's way. See that? It's 200 pounds. And it's heavy. For real. You feel that? Feel the air? Ooh. You feel that? Moment of rest. Try doing this with this amount of weight, all right? Start out with 50 pounds, 30. I'm simply doing this to show you that even up as we get a little older, we can, we can maintain a certain level of physical strength. I don't do this to, to oppose myself on anyone, but I won't allow anyone to oppose themselves on me either. You understand? I don't do that. There are those that, that their concept of this is torted and twisted because they don't do anything and they don't want you to do anything. You began to do things like this, the first thing they're going to do is question you. Oh, I think we should do that lies. How can you love me when you don't even love your own physical being? But your body looks a mess. Come on, please. Love your neighbors, you love yourself. All right, quick, quick. This is a powerful move. Move it back. Look at the weight. I don't mind finish up on that one. Because that 
this in. Some other things. Now, which one? Let me do a few. Something easy right now. For your chest. Two sets of this. And then, we'll finish off with some simple exercises. One is that anyone can do it. I don't care where you are. Let me get a quick tricep exercise. In this exercise, this tricep, you don't need anything special. You can do it right here with the chair. I'll show you. It doesn't take anything to do this one. But I'm about to show you this tricep exercise. Let's take anything. You have a chair at home? I think this would be better here. You can make this one work all right. And then do some chest pulls. I will do some push ups. And then one set of dips. And that's it for today, all right. This is for your triceps here. Watch this. You simply. Simply take your hand, put it behind you, look at that, and just see that? No weights, you take a chair at home, you bench. And that is one of the best triceps. I used to do those hundreds at a time. It's free. It takes no money to be in a gym. You're sitting there doing nothing. Drop down and do you two or three hundred. You're sitting there doing nothing. Drop down and do some push-ups. That's what you do. You can get yourself fit. If you turn the television, get that thing out of your home. There are many of you spend so many hours watching that. Movies and the folly, filling your mind with it. And many of the men of the diaspora are getting just overweight and fat. Many of the Hebrew Yadites are just huge, obesely individuals, the women, the men. And that ought not to be. There are those that say they're vegans and they're big as hogs. What are they vegan on? They're vegan, but my, almost like our cows, the bees. There's one thing about the bull in the past. If you look at the bull, he stays fit because he's, he's running the cows. He takes care of all of them. We have one bull, and I think maybe, uh, maybe 12, 13 heifers. He takes care of all of them, maybe more. And you walk on him, he's fit looking too. You can see it's muscular definition. And we as men, we should have that kind of physique that, that when other warriors look at us, they say, oh, they, those warriors are fit. They're ready to pull the sword. They have the stamina to, uh, to challenge me for hours. Come on. One more of these tries. They're beautiful. You can take a chair, a bench, you can be in the park, watching the children play, and as they play, you just drop down like this. They say, Daddy, what you doing? Look, like this. Look. Look at my arms. Beautiful tricep routine, and it works those inner tries. Whew. That's 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 a beautiful exercise for free. Of course, you know that. All right, I want to show you. Whew. I feel that, man. I feel that. All right, I'm gonna do a few chest pull downs to work my pectorials a little bit, and I want to show you something. Take the straight bar on this. I will do two disciplines with this. What is this? I take a 45 pound dumbbell. 
like this. It's a 45 pound. You don't have to start off with this much, but this is what I use. And I will show you a beautiful exercise. Very powerful. It makes you strong and help your pectorials, your deltoids. I will take this exercise, this, and I will hold it like this. You notice my knees are bent a little bit. My back is straight. Sucks. It's tall about you, my friend. Mm. I feel that. Uh. Wow. Mm. That is bad. It was in my day that. This is bad to the bone here. Do it one more time, get it over with. Two sets. I will usually do between five to eight sets of something like this. Because I will not do this many disciplines in a day. I'll do one. Then the latter part of the week I will do. I may do three to four. I like to do four disciplines at a time. Last night I worked my legs, my calves, my thighs, my shoulders, and also my back, or my lack. I didn't want to overdo it because I wanted to do this, this, this broadcast today. One more of these, all right? 45 pound plate here. You want to raise this. Look at me. I have a slight bend, bend in my knee to maintain that flexibility and I read it. Cloudy sky, but it's very beautiful. Look at the animals. I'll give them a shot of that. Look at the animals. Look at the beauty. Look at the sheep, the chickens. Beautiful day here. Ah, oh, to the yard for Tashua. Tashua community. All right. Hallelujah. Abrachia. God uh, bless us, yes, brought us to have a corporation here. I heard from a group of up from, from Missouri today that would love to come and see our labor here. Certainly they're welcome to come. It is one thing that we are very leery of uh, in the sense that 
I've had those that wanted to move here, but we don't just move people here like that because we've had so much difficulty over the years with individuals. And then when they leave, they leave their very vicious, you know, they have childlike ways. And basically, if they saw me, they would be afraid if they saw me. The ones that post things on our web, they're, they're cowards. Cowards. And we still grant them the permission to do it. They don't understand. They don't have to do is delete it. You're silly. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is not easy, man. Here we go. All right, this is somewhat of a variation of what I just showed you. What's this? Simply chest. See? All right. This. this when you do exercises like this, it shows you the strength of your waist, your back, your lower region. And then I pull you. Profit little, but Torah, uh, the guarding of the Torah is great game. All right, yes. All right, that's bad. Give me a little challenge, a little rehydration. I join the Begin Joshua with the Ark, the Hot. We have all things in common. Yeah, let's reduce this down to a small number of people, which I enjoy. We enjoy the fellowship. Beautiful times of gathering for the Torah and the Mo'adim of young. We have others come in. We have great times here. I enjoy it. My day consisting of my labor. And then I always finish my day here in the gym. And then from there to the tabernacle for prayer. We pray every day at 7 p.m. in the evening and 7.30 a.m. in the morning. We go to the tabernacle, we pray. And we have that fellowship. And it, it, it's the discipline of our day. But I enjoy this. This is one of my little places. I call it my office where I can come to here and just yawn me. Because most of the times I'm the only one in here. But I enjoy my Abba in here. And then I will have Ak, Shimri, and Yusipiya. At times, Yawasadach who will come. But I enjoy this, I do. And then when they are out of town or something, my dear Shaw and I will come in here and she'll work out with me. She'll do everything I do. She simply doesn't do the way I do. She does everything I do. Everything I do, she'll do it. Every exercise, she'll do it with me. The only one she cannot do is the pull-up. And she has been working to do pull-ups. It's cold now, so she doesn't get outside as much. She tends to work out in the, in the interior of the home. But during the summer, that was her biggest thing. She wanted to do the pull-ups. And every day, she would go to the children's playground. And we'd watch, watch. And she would pull up. And I said, I will show you what exercises you do to Make your shoulders strong. So she, I went and purchased her some weights for the home, and, and she tries to do that. But she's a beautiful hot, precious to me all these years. I don't see how these men try to maintain two wives. They call them two wives. I cannot maintain with her. <sighs> Last one of this one. Okay, here we go. Whew, here we go. All right.
My energy is exhausted. Tremendous out of the world. This thing is so low. Let's take it as a tool. I want to finish up with two disciplines. The dip and a few push-ups. It'll close with that. But listen, again, I want to bring your attention to this apparatus here. This is one of the most, one of the most exceptional pieces that one can have in the little gym. You put this in your bedroom. You put this in your entertainment room, wherever. I don't have an entertainment room. You put this in. This is called the body gym. And this is one exercise. All that I have done, all the tries, the biceps, the pectoral. This is one exercise that works it all. It works all of those regions. You lack everything. And you're talking about feeling something when you finish this. You will feel it off of this. I love this piece of machine right here. I love it. And I do these twice a week. I dip. I don't care. I dip twice a week. And I like to do at least, I like to do about eight, ten sets of these. Beginning with 15 is a set until I get down where I can do no more than 10. And if I had to come in the gym and do two exercises, two pieces of machinery that, machinery that I had to work on, it would be this, and I cannot deny this apparatus, the bar. See what kind of time you will have with the wife in the evening. You all walk. You got a stationary bike. She gets on it, you get on it. My issue and I, we would do sit ups. I would do three, four hundred. She would do two or three hundred. I would hold her leg, she would hold my leg. After she finished her two or three hundred, then I would do three or four hundred, two or three hundred again. At my age right now, I can still do 1,000 sit-ups right now if I wanted to. You don't look like it. You got a big gut, I know. But I still can do 1,000 sit-ups. I can. You both know this is the challenge you. The men that are not my age cannot do that. One young man posted, I can do everything you do. But it's one thing that you inspired me. Well, if I inspired him, then wonderful. He's supposed to. I, he should do things that I cannot do. He's young. I guarantee you I'm old enough to be his father. That's, that's not something great because you can do what I do. What am I doing? Anybody can do what I'm doing. Come on, physical challenge. This is nothing. Come on, man. The dip. This is the, this is the most... What's the palliative? This is one of the most unappreciative apparatuses Known to man, the devil. In my days, they would say bad to the bone. This is bad here. This is the raw deal. All right, I don't like that type of jargon, but that's all right. You understand what I'm saying. All right, watch me. This is the devil. She is tough. Who? Look how her.
You can get to you where you can do 15, 20 of those at a time. I can. And it will not be long that you will see such a vast improvement in your physical structure. You will. In order for you to, really for me, to work this kind of work I do here, you have to be physically strong. You have to. As I said this morning, I was out handling nearly 1,600 pounds of concrete, 80 pound bags, loaded them, took each of them off, put the post, put that in the hole, packed up post. I did all of that. Had a person driving the tractor, taking me to each post, and I did that. So I have to maintain my strength. So after hard day's labor like today, I will come in the gym and then take advantage of what Yah has blessed us with here. And Yah has granted this unto us that we can come here and test you this gym. And don't write me and tell me that we should not be doing this. You say that because you're fat, you're overweight, or you're a little individual that has no courage or character. That's why. A little hydration. There are those that say, I shouldn't do that. Because they cannot. They don't have the ability. So they will say, well, that's wrong. He ought to be working with his hands, I just did. No, you should be putting your hands work. I just did. You all say you ought to be working with your hands. Hey, watch where my hands go on this apparatus. How about that? This generation. Hallelujah. We're going to try to get this up today. Mark Simeon. He'll get it up for me. You want to join us on this Shabbat evening for Shabbat Yisrael? One more of these. And God's will, I'm going to do some push ups. And then I'm going to head home and prepare for our evening celebration where we dance and we sing before we eat. And our ach. They will be in and they're laboring today to sustain the work of the community here where there are others like Ach Simeon and Arzachin and Yosef and Zachin Birmin Zachin, Daiwi Zachin, Mahalaya. We, the few of us, we maintain the course of things here from everything, from mowing of the grass, from growing the garden, from, from harvesting. It is a laborious task. But at the end of the day, it's beautiful. I come here and say, my. All right. One more of these. Can I go around the Torah of Yah? All right. The dip. This is one of the most exceptional exercises one can do. If you can get where you can dip your body weight. You can do that, then you're doing something exceptional. Most men can do that. I would say 90%, forgive me, 95% of America can. To dip your body weight. Very few women can do this. Very few men too. Dip it. <sighs> 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 
with shoulders. Oh, that's beautiful. That just simply feels beautiful. Uh, one more discipline. I've enjoyed you to do this in my yard. If this can benefit you in any way to make you get up, it is to challenge you, to show you what you need to do. And if it challenges you in that way, or it makes you get up, then I do appreciate that. Put a pause, let me know, if it challenges you. You don't need no New Year's resolution. You just get up and begin. You don't wait until the first of the pagan year. You began today. Do that. Instead of eating two donuts, don't eat one. That should be something you enjoy. I don't see how you enjoy it, but you would eat that once, once, once a year, once every six months, once every three months, not every day. You could eat some chips, maybe once in a while. Once in a while. You say that's a, it's, it's an all out junk day, which that's all it is, junk. Then you go and eat a little of that. But don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. The cookies, the candy, and all that, you don't need that. Come on. You get enough sugary sweet, sweet, especially if you're eating any kind of processed food. Everything has sugar. So you don't need that much, my friend. And you'll be surprised if you began to eliminate certain things out of your diet. You will see a tremendous reduction. Even in your physical weight, you really will. And men my age should be strong too. We should, we should, we should represent a beauty. Uh, see all my gray hair, I'm getting gray. I don't have much hair, but all my side bird, my sides and all, it's just pure white. And I do better not care for that. You ought to see my cameraman. Beautiful beauty. Which might be over like his beard. But all this is gray, you see that. I'm not ashamed of that. But we as Horrid, hoary head men, we should have a beauty that when, when other uh, the young men see us, they see a beauty about us. They say, man, look at the uh, look at this uh, look at that. Uh, they're beautiful, they're strong, they're vibrant. Wow, even in their 50s. I have, he's deceased now, an uncle. And as a young lad, I would watch him. He was, he was such a sharp, uh, devonier man. His dress was impeccable. He was clean cut every day. And I was, as a lad, I would look at him and say, wow. He lived until he was 80 plus years old. He, he, he died some years ago. But he was a very sharp man. Very sharp. His appearance, as you just marvel in that, I did. And today I have this beautiful desire and a passion for the fellowship of others. Elderly men. I love old men. Especially old men that are that are, that are balanced. I don't like foolish women. I don't like laughter. I don't like folly. I don't, no sporting. I don't play. I don't go for that. But I like seasoned old men that are beautiful and strong. I love that. I do. I love the fellowship. Others, okay. Last exercise and we go. I hate to get down here, but I must. All right.
25. I feel that. That's enough for today. I do one more set. Whew. You want to do 25 of those push ups? They're vital. I feel it everywhere. Arms, legs, forearm. It is an exercise that it is the most complete. This, that dip, and that. Forget all this other stuff. That's all you need. And that, the push up. I have gotten the best results out of calisthenics, doing push-ups and things like that. It's like a vital. And you'll see tremendous results. I've got to do 25 more. And then we look close. It's nearly 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Jefferson, South Carolina. I've been joined you today. Hope this video will be an inspiration to you out there. Men, you zakhin, love of the faith, that others may see the change in your physical representation of what's in you. And whatever is in you is going to express itself outwardly. And that's the truth. We have a nefesh, as our old zakhin would say, the soul with the nefesh. It is the, it is the completion or the complete man, the breath, it is the life for being. And so what's the living source in us it will represent us external, externally. All right, one last set, we'll go. And that'll be on time, it'll be time to eat. And I'm looking forward to eating today. All right, here we go. I get my feet up and I go. There's nothing like completing a workout like I've had today with that. Again, make sure protein. After all this I've done, if I want to get huge and large, you want protein. And this, as far as I'm concerned, is the best. The raw, all raw substance. And also, if you're not a consumer of meat, you need B12. This is where I get my protein. And there's one thing about us in America, there is no protein deficiency. When you want to understand protein deficiency, you look at children that are in the third world nations where the lobelis are protruding and they're skinny. That's a protein deficiency. We don't have this in that, this country. And when you hear those say, well, what about my protein? Well, you get all the proteins you want from the raw or from the greenery. My Isha, she's very well knowledgeable of that matter. And that's where I get my protein from as well. If you want to get large, you have to consume quite a bit of protein. I don't want to get large. So you need some carbohydrates, a little fat. Carbohydrate gives you energy. It gives you that endurance, the strength to work out. And the protein is what actually builds the muscles. It builds. Without protein, you're not going to build any kind of muscular dexterity, period. If you eat cabinets and sweets. So get on a, 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 a tremendous diet, eating, be disciplined, throw out the junk food. You don't have to have cake once a week. Believe me, you don't need ice cream. Don't eat that mess. It's nothing but death. Come on. When you get into our age, in the 50s, you want to check yourself, your sodium intake and all of that. Because I'm what I do not go to doctors. 
So I have to make sure that I maintain a certain maintenance about my body that if there is something that I feel that, I, that, 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 that I'm feeling strange, because I don't go to the doctors, I haven't been to a doctor in over 30 years. So I don't know what's in me, but I know what the Torah Yah teaches me. So Yisrael Yah, listen, I've enjoyed you today, your fellowship, and until the next workout, as we look forward to the coming of Yah's year, for the Mu'adim of Yah began. We look to see you soon, all right. So I say to you all, may the riches of Yah and Yahshua Hamashiach rest upon you all. In Yahshua's mighty name. Shalom, my friends. See you the next time. All right.